Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. Then the negative of a times the negative of b is equal to a times b. Okay, now in proving this theorem, we are going to rely on some facts which come from the field properties of the real numbers. The first is the following. For all real numbers a and b, the negative of a times b is equal to a times the negative b, which is equal to the negative of a times b. The second property is that for every real number x, x times 0 is equal to 0. The third property is the cancellation law of addition. If you recall, for every three real numbers a, b, and c, if a plus c is equal to b plus c, then a is equal to b. The fourth is, for every real number x, x plus the negative x is equal to zero. And the fifth is the distributive law. Okay, now the fourth and fifth properties we're using are built into the field properties of the real numbers themselves. While the first three properties, you can deduce them from the field properties of the real numbers, which we've already done in previous videos. So now, let's get into proving this theorem. And to start out the proof, let's suppose a and b are real numbers. Our whole goal now is to prove that this is true. And to do that, check this out. We're going to consider adding these two values together. Now, from fact number one, we know that the negative of a times b is equal to a times the negative of b. So we're going to replace the second parentheses with a times the negative of b. And now notice, we can apply the distributive law, right? We see that in both of these two parentheses, the number negative b they have in common. So really, this entire thing is equal to the negative of a plus a times negative b. Right, and you can verify by distributing the negative of b across that these two are equal. Now notice, by fact number four, the negative a plus a is equal to zero. And yes, I should note we are implicitly using the commutative law here. But now, by fact number two, any number times zero is equal to zero. So zero times the negative b is zero. But by fact number four again, a times b plus the negative of a times b is equal to zero. So really, this is equal to this. And now at this point, we're going to apply fact number three, the cancellation law of addition. And to see how we can do that, we can observe that this is precisely in the form of a plus c is equal to b plus c. Because we could call this a, we could call this b, and call these two guys c. Right, and we see that a plus c is equal to b plus c. So by fact number three, this implies a is equal to b where it really means we have that this is equal to this. And this is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.